Welcome to our tutorial for perspective drawing. For this tutorial, you need to assign the dimensions that you will be using. Here are the materials needed. Let's start by creating a new set of border with a measurement of 1 half centimeter. Again, the measurement for the new set of border is 1 half centimeter. Next, from the original upper border line, measure 3.5 inches going downwards and then create a horizontal line. Again, from the original upper border line, 3.5 inches going downward and then create a horizontal line. This separates the part for the one-point perspective and the two-point perspective drawing. So the upper part is for the one-point and then the lower part is for the two-point perspective. Let's start with the one-point perspective. The upper part is the horizon and then the lower part is the ground line. For the horizon, make sure that the vanishing point is located estimatedly at the middle. And then for the ground line, start working with your front view. Regarding the dimension, again, you will be assigning the dimension for the figures. Once you're done with the front view, connect the three corners of it to your vanishing point. You can use either 30 by 60 degrees triangle or 45 degrees triangle in doing this. Now let's add the depth of the object in order for us to complete the right side and left side view as well as the top view of the object. So vertical line for the right side and left side view and then horizontal line for the top view of both objects. Now let's start with our two-point perspective drawing. This time, the horizon is on the lower part and then the ground line is on the horizontal line at the middle. So our vanishing point is located at the corners of the new border. Now from the ground line, create a vertical line that will act as the height of the object that you will be doing. Once you're done with the vertical line, connect both ends of it with the vanishing points. Again, you can use either 30 by 60 or 45 degrees triangle in doing this. Now let's add the width and the depth of the object. So mark the dimension on the projection lines. So from that marking, create a vertical line. And then connect the endpoint of it 
to the opposite vanishing point. Take note that what we are doing right now is a worm's eye view. That's why the bottom view is visible. That's it. You're done with both perspective drawing. Use your technical pens to outline or to finalize the output. Then make sure to erase all the excess lines. Thank you for watching.